this is just going to be a really quick video on zero circuits. So I'm going to start with a really simple type of zero circuit. I'm going to show you what it looks like in real life and then I'm going to draw the bits for you. So here I have a bulb attached to um, two wires and this is my battery here. And I'm just going to attach either end of the um, wires to the battery and hopefully you can see the bulb lighting up. I'll just zoom in on that a little bit for you and do it again. So when I complete the circuit, you can see the bulb lighting up. Um, now, if we want to draw this um, as a circuit, I'll just keep that here as reference. The symbol for bulb is a cross with a circle around it. The symbol for a battery is a little line, then a big line. And then we always join these up in kind of like a square or a rectangle shape. So this is our bulb. And this is our cell or battery. Now the difference between a cell and a battery is a cell is kind of like a single component, whereas a battery is um, more, th more cells, more than one cell put together. All I've got here to show you are batteries, I'm afraid I don't have any cells. So in a series circuit, everything is in like one linear order. So we have a circuit that has two bulbs in. If we follow the um, path of the wires through, a series circuit doesn't have any corners or any edges in it. You'll be able to follow it through um, in one go. So these bulbs are both in series. If I attach them to the um, bulb, you can see this lighting up. I've got the lights off in the lab to try and make this as bright as possible. Another way that I can make it brighter is just by putting another bulb in there another battery in there sorry and you can see these bulbs are starting to light up now it's not very bright because these are only little batteries and little bulbs if I wanted to draw this I would have my two symbols for my bulbs and then I would have my batteries down here because I put two batteries in So those would be my two bulbs and my two batteries, my bulbs and my batteries. And wires just represented as straight lines. Remember, with a pencil, really please. So here I have an ammeter connected up in series. You can see again, I can follow the, um, the whole path through with one uh, single line. Ammeters have to be connected in series. And then when I connect up the battery, I'll just show you that to you again. Hopefully you can see the um, ammeter moving. Just zoom in on that for you a touch. So zoomed in, I'm just gonna connect the battery and you can see the ammeter jump there a little bit and that is measuring the amount of current flowing through the circuit. So drawing my circuit with a bulb in and then I'm gonna have an ammeter in. Coming down to my battery, your drawings I would hope are a lot neater than this with of course a pencil and a ruler, um, bulb, ammeter, ammeters always have to be in series and my battery. Okay, so this is getting quite complicated now but I just want to prove to you again this is a series circuit. I have a bulb and then an ammeter, another bulb connected to another ammeter and then the end and um, I'm going to connect these ends to my batteries and both of the ammeters are going to move um, showing that there's current flowing through even though the bulbs aren't going to light up very much. So hopefully you can see both ammeters twitching there slightly. The bulbs aren't lighting up, um, well I mean they are lighting up but ever so, ever so slightly. So let me just add in a second battery. Okay, right, give me a sec. Okay, uh, so my second battery is added in now. And there we go, we can see that both um, ammeters are jumping a bit more than they did before. Now one of the really interesting things I want you to see on here is the fact that both ammeters are moving the same amount. Um, let me just bring this in the middle, zoom in a bit for you. So if I 
flick that up there. You can see that drops a little bit. I'll bring the other ammeter in so that they go both in shot. And they are both moving the same amount. Throwing in a serious circuit, the same current um, flows through no matter where we are. Okay, it's all getting quite complicated and messy now, um, but I've added in a voltmeter. You can see my voltmeter in here, and I've connected it using some crocodile clips so that the voltmeter goes across the bulb here. So these two cables attach into the voltmeter because voltmeters have to be connected in parallel. They measure across something, so they have to be connected in parallel. The rest of everything else is still in series. So I have a bulb in series, with an ammeter because ammeters have to be connected in series. I have another bulb here and I have my two ends. So I'm going to squash all this together. You can see my ammeter and my voltmeter here. I'm just going to connect up the battery and I want you to watch what happens to both the ammeter and the voltmeter. Nothing. Okay, working now, electricity is very temperamental, especially in a school lab. Right, so as I connect up the bulb, we can see the ammeter and the voltmeter both moving. Now, the rules for um, measuring potential difference in volts in a, um, a series circuit are slightly different because the potential difference is going to be the sum of the potential difference across each cell. So I can take... Um, the voltmeter off this bulb here, connect it uh, across this bulb here, so bring that ammeter and the voltmeter back in, and then measure the um, potential difference going through there, and then the total potential difference would be the sum of this one and this one, whereas the current in a series circuit is the same no matter where you put the ammeter. Okay, so the last circuit was quite complicated. I had a bulb which was connected to an ammeter, which was connected to another bulb, which across that bulb I had a voltmeter, and then I have my battery. So lots of things going on in that um, circuit there, but you can see how this looks a lot neater than this. This is much easier to understand, which is why we use circuit diagrams, even though they do seem quite annoying and complicated. Now, I know I've done my drawings here in pen, but all of yours need to be done in pencil and ruler. Um, my students recommend these super cute brooches I have to remind you. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below, please.